Hi, this is Kevin Purcell from Gotta Be Mobile and Notebooks.com, and we are going to show you the OnLive micro console gaming system. And there it is, it's hooked up to our HD television set here in our basement, and my son's going to help me demonstrate it to you. He's going to play some games for me. Alright, the first thing we want to show you is the controller for OnLive. And my son is demonstrating it to you. He's a much better gamer than I am, and his thumbs don't hurt. I've got an injury on my right thumb. So he's going to help me uh, share with you this. Plus, he's been playing it a lot more than I have. Daniel, what do you think about the controller for the OnLive system? It's very comfy. <laughs> All right. And how does it compare to other gaming systems that you've played? Um, it's more similar to the Xbox uh, not so much the PS3 because of the look at the controls, but it's still comfy and I really like it. Alright, how about the Wii? We have a Wii system. <laughs> no, it doesn't act like that at all. It's very different from the Wii, but do you yeah. like this kind better than that, the Wii system where you use motion? and? I like this a little bit better because um, I sort of am used to it now. Okay. <laughs> Alright, how about the response? You know, the OnLive system is playing games through the internet. Uh, how does it, how quickly does it respond to your touching the buttons to fire or things like that? As normal as any other Xbox or PS3 or something like that. So as far as the controller is concerned, you don't really notice that it's going over the internet? No, I don't actually. Okay. Give us a good look at it. Bring it up here a little bit more closely so we can see it. Do you know what these buttons here on the front are used for? They're for recording uh, uh, where you can do brag clips of your game. To now what's like a brag clip? A brag clip is where you, let's say you have something funny or really cool, like on how good you are, you either take a picture or record a video, and you and it will like keep it, and other people can watch it, and if they think it's popular, they'll actually put it on the uh, featured brag clips. Okay. And the weight of it, does it feel real heavy or too light or just about right? No, it, it feels just about right. It's pretty good. All right, you notice it's got these uh, paddles here in the back. And there's the connector. You use that to both charge it with a USB cable. And then also, uh, when you first set up the system, you have to plug it into the OnLive system in order to sync the controller uh, with it. And uh, what are these lights here for? The lights, that is to tell you if it's like first, second, or third, or fourth player. Uh, right now, we only have one controller, so it doesn't really matter. So if you had another controller, you could play two two-player games yeah. with it. Okay. All right. There's only a couple that are two-player. Right. Okay. And then as far as the sticking, the sticks when you're moving, and is it pretty accurate? Yeah. Okay. One of the cool things about the online system is if you have a USB keyboard, and you can plug it in, and uh, you plug the keyboard in over here, and when you're doing messaging, you can actually type into it. Go ahead, Daniel, demonstrate that for him. All right, and then he could send that message to somebody, one of his friends online and uh, they would receive it and possibly want to play a game of Batman with him. Alright, so Daniel's loaded up Batman Arkham Asylum. He's going to start a new game. We're just doing this because we want to show you what the actual game looks like while you're playing. Turn down the volume just a little bit. Now this, I asked my son, you know, what are your favorite games? And he said that this was definitely one of them. Why do you like Batman Arkham Asylum so much, Daniel? The graphics, the gameplay, uh, the violence. <laughs> <laughs> and you notice that the, uh, the, the graphics are really smooth. And to me, that's sort of amazing since it's streaming this live over the internet. Um, but they've somehow fi figured out a way that they, they do the, the hard work of creating video on their servers on their end and then they somehow compress it in a way that it doesn't look too bad. Compared to an Xbox or a PlayStation, you've played both of those before, haven't you, Daniel? Yep. Yeah. Compared to both of those, would you say that the graphics on this are as good, better, worse? Same. Just about the same? Yep. Now, I've played just a little bit on PlayStation. I think the PlayStation looks a little better, but not enough that it would cause me to want to spend $300 versus this one which is only a hundred dollars and right now you can get a free system with the purchase of uh, a specific game I can't remember which game it is now Daniel in your playing you've played it quite a bit over the last week how often does it just kind of freeze up for a second 
um, every now and then, uh, like, on days where the internet is just really, really bad, I can play for about maybe 15 minutes before it starts doing that. So when it freezes, how long does it freeze before it starts back up again? Um, it freezes for about a couple seconds sometimes, at the most, and it really kind of makes me angry. Um, and so I just, uh, I just have to wait, be patient, and uh, turn it back on because it makes me power it down if it gets really bad. So sometimes the system itself freezes and you have to turn it off and restart. Yeah. Alright, so right now the, the game is powered down and what we're going to do is show you that when you put the controller uh, or when you want to start it up you just press that button and you notice that it's going to start things up and almost immediately you're ready to go. Now let's sign in. This does take a couple seconds. Now I don't own an Xbox or a PlayStation. I'm not sure how this compares to those starting up from scratch and uh, signing in. But I would bet that it's probably comparable. It's probably not that much different. Do, yeah. Have you ever had to start a PlayStation or an Xbox from scratch? Uh, the PlayStation uh, sort of you can't really skip through. Okay. So. Now we get this opening video that shows you the on live graphic. And then it's going to fly in and we'll see all the different games being played all over the world. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now skip through. And it brings you up. This is the main menu. So go up there to the arena. Tell us what that's for, Daniel. Alright, this is where you can watch uh, anyone else who has an a, a on-live. You can watch them play. Go ahead and go in and see what it looks like. Um, this guy's playing Mafia. Pretty good graphics. Okay. Alright, uh, so let's go on out of there. Now pick another one. Let's see, uh, Assassin's Creed 2. Alright. That's your second favorite game behind Batman Arkham Asylum, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so you get to watch someone else play. Yeah, which is kind of cool actually. It's kind of cool, plus maybe it would help you learn the game if the person you're watching is doing pretty good. Alright, let's go on out of there. Go back out to the main menu. Wait, one thing. Now the profile, we won't go in there. Oh, we won't. But that basically just shows you your information and what games you have set up. What happens is you buy the games or you buy a uh, rental period for a few dollars or you can buy a monthly... Uh, rental uh, agreement where it's ten dollars a month and you get to play all the games which is pretty cool. Now go into the marketplace Daniel and this is where you get to look at the di different games that first one the on live play pack that's the ten dollar a month thing where you get to play forty one games uh, for free. The next ones here are the ones that are coming soon. And they haven't come out yet even though they have for like the PS3 and the Xbox. And then we have some games that are on sale All right. these are now we're using a demo version actually that comes with it so these would have prices on it uh, because we're getting a review unit we're actually on a special demo um, contract for just a little while where we don't have to pay for them while we're doing the review so now go into one of the games and act like you want to buy it alright um, the mall now what you would do is right up here is where you get play pass click that for a second and what that shows you is how much you would have to pay in order to have a play pass, either a permanent one or a discount one. So let's go back out. All right, and then you can do a free trial. Each game allows you to do how long? About 30 game, uh, 30, 30 minutes, minutes right? or 15 minutes. Depends okay. on what the game is. Some games you get a 15 minute trial, and sometimes you get a 30 minute trial. So he set it up for a trial period of 30 minutes to go into this game. Go out out of the marketplace. Now, my games that lists all your games that you have set up. All right, let's go back out of there. Over to the showcase. What does that do? Um, this is like for featured games. Like they're trying to get you to get like get another on live system. Okay, that's that's the game. Go back to that a second. Right now they're doing a special. You can get a free system, which is the actual device. 
and as long as you buy that game. Now also understand, with your OnLive subscription or with the OnLive membership, <coughs> which by the way, it's free to sign up, you can play these on computers. Uh, Josh, our editor at Notebooks.com, demonstrated playing uh, Dirt 2, and I can't remember one of the other games on his MacBook Air, and it did really well. We'll show you uh, another video of uh, Daniel playing it on his uh, uh, little netbook that we have, and, and we'll show you how well that works. One thing we wanted to show you is the performance of OnLive when you use it on a computer. Now, our editor at Notebooks.com showed you how it worked on a MacBook Air, which is uh, an Intel Core 2 dual processor with a fast SSD storage uh, solution, but my son here is running this on an Acer Aspire 1 250 netbook and it does not have an SSD, it's got a slow 5400 RPM hard drive and it's only got an Intel Atom processor uh, and integrated graphics and as you can see from the video here it's actually doing pretty good. Now OnLive has free access over computer and they'll notice up there in the corner it says network problem. He's doing it through Wi-Fi, which is actually kind of amazing in and of itself. Uh, the Wi-Fi connection in our house is a pretty good one, but um, we did test it on the Verizon MiFi, and it wouldn't even start. It wouldn't even load, um, unfortunately. But uh, and there you see a little bit of arf artifacting and a, a stall, but it's pretty good considering he's using a very low-powered netbook running over a Wi-Fi network. Now we will tell you, tell you that that, uh, that network problem that you see up in the corner there, sometimes he sees that on the OnLive micro console as well. So that doesn't necessarily have to be just because of the netbook over Wi-Fi. Alright, so then, so showcase is basically OnLive advertising. Yep. Last played is obviously what you would think, the last game you played. Now go into brag clips. Oh yeah. And are these your brag clips or other people's? Other people's. Alright, so let's watch a brag clip real quick. See, these are the bad guys who are supposed to attack me. They're instead attacking each other. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that is pretty good. Now, for friends, that's where you would go in and find all of your friends that you have set up. And you've got a few on here. Yeah. Uh, go down there where it says Josh Notebooks. There he is. Alright. Now, he's him. offline, but let's see if he has any brag clips. Does he have any? Nope. Nope. So Josh, get on the ball and get some brag clips going. Anyway, we just wanted to show that to you. Uh, let's go back out of there and we'll show you the last couple things here on the main screen. Now go into that center spot. What does that one do? This is where you can uh, do launch your games really quick. You can go into settings, change some of your, uh, your stuff like the audio, how okay. it is. Uh, about, like, this is like, you can get your, like, terms of service. Learn about the game, alright. So go on to the other, we have, where you can launch your games. And okay. that's for service. And then what's the last one? Messages. Messages, like if you right. want to have, like, if someone uh, asks to be your friend or something.